What's up everybody, it's the Beastly Gamer here, welcome to my channel. Today I want to make a video to kind of show you guys something that to me has been my best kept secret. A lot of people know I have it. People in my inner circle, some of the people who I know on YouTube know about this, but none of you guys have known about it. And I think it's time to let the cat out of the bag and show you guys Beastly Gamer's best kept secret. Now before I get into this, I want to let you guys know that I, I'm not a judgmental person. I know there's tons of judgmental people out there and I don't care for them, so if you're a judgmental person, Please don't watch this video, or maybe leave it an interesting comment. <laughs> Who knows? It's up to you. I, for a long time, have, have been uh, in the modding scene. I uh, I have uh, PSPs that are modded, and everybody knows PSP was modded. I have uh, Wii that was modded, and uh, believe it or not, I got PS3s that are modded. I actually have two of them. Two of my five PS3s are modified, and my son today was playing on one of them. And I haven't played on this thing in probably close to a year. It's been a lot. I think the last game I played on here was Beyond Two Souls. So that was like the, one of the first videos I ever made. Uh, and uh, I don't play on this thing anymore. And uh, I wanted to actually show you guys what a modified system is and uh, what the, the benefits of them are and uh, what the drawbacks are and let you guys let me know what you think. So first of all, Candyman used to be my old account. And uh, it's no longer my account now, I'm Beastly Gamer, because my identity has changed. But I want to show you guys what uh, what a modded system looks like. Now, on the onset, it looks like a pretty standard PlayStation 3. It starts to look kind of weird when you get over into the game section. Yes. In the game section, it does look a little strange. You see things like install package files, and uh, you get file locations and things like that. But for the most part up here, that's all the same. When you get right here, that's a little like weird. And then you see stuff like this. Uh, Multi-man, you see stuff like 4.11 uh, version spoofer, uh, which I don't need anymore. Um, toggle QA, which allows you to uh, have new openings when you turn your PlayStation on. Like this PlayStation doesn't just say PS3. When you turn it on, it actually shows a PS3 that's bursted open. It has ribs and blood sticking out of it. And it says hacked, which is actually pretty awesome. Uh, the games here are all, you know, uh, downloaded, modified. Uh, versions of these games and uh, you'll see some emulators here like the Virgil Visual Boy Advance which is the Game Boy Advance uh, FBA Next which is an arcade emulator um, I have no idea what that is I can't remember PS Lite which is a Bomberman beta which is a homebrew game it's kinda like Bomberman but it's not Braid uh, file managers galore you're gonna see lots of file managers that allow you to go into your PS3 and access things that nobody else can uh, there's some PSN games. You got some PC games that have been ported up here, like Heretic, uh, Hexen, Doom, uh, Astro Tripper. Let me see what this is. I can't remember what that is. Uh, Pixel Junk Monsters, which I have bought. I bought this game. I have this game paid for, but I figured why not? It's free. Uh, there's another manager, Street Fighter, FTP, which allows you to transfer files from your PC to your PlayStation 3 through Bluetooth, which is pretty slick. Genesis emulators, another manager, Nintendo emulator. Uh, you can fix permissions. Doom. There's a MAME emulator with 7,000 games on it. So MAME is multiple arcade machine emulators. So it, it plays pretty much every old arcade game. They're all on here. Uh, PS Vibe lets you control the vibration of your controller. Uh, Super Nintendo emulator, you can turn your PlayStation into an ebook reader, all kinds of crazy stuff. Med Nathan, which is a multiple emulator, you can you can play Virtual Boy games on here, you can play Game Gear games on here, you can play TurboGrafx 16 games on here, I play Bonk, Bonk's Adventure on there, uh, Nintendo stuff, Game Boy stuff, it's pretty awesome. Uh, but with all that set aside, the most interesting thing, or to me the most impressive thing, is this application here. It's called Multi Man. I'm going to open it up. Unless you guys see what it can do. Multi Man opens up. You get the little Multi Man with his smile, his glasses on, pop up, and then this pops up. What is this? These are tons and tons of PlayStation 3 games. Now, the game that's actually inside the PS3 right now is Little Big Planet. It's actually in there right now. That's why it pops up first. And then after that, everything pops up alphabetically. Now, this is one hard drive. I have three two terabyte hard drives. I've got six terabytes. And I think this is the only one that isn't full. I've got two 500 gig hard drives. Uh, so that equals about seven terabytes of games and movies uh, that I used to play all the time on this system and my other system. But basically, all these games are all on this hard drive. And all, all you gotta do is, you know, hit the X button and they'll start up 
just like any regular PlayStation 3 game. And for a long time, I actually I modded my system in 2011. Uh, I modded my system, <laughs> believe it or not, when PlayStation Network went down. Uh, I never wanted to mod it, but when PSN was down, it was down for just over two months. I couldn't get online, I couldn't play games, uh, and it was really frustrating. So I found an online community of people who were all pissed off about PlayStation, and I went on and modded my system. And uh, I think it was actually a pretty good idea. At the time, I only had one PlayStation 3, so I modded it, and um, it was a good idea. My wife actually wanted one, one then, and she wanted another one modded so she could play side by side, so we got another one modded that one. And as you guys can see, there's like so much stuff you can do with it. These are all PlayStation 3 games, and this is just one hard drive. Trust me, I've got everything that came out up until like 2013 I have uh, on these hard drives, and uh, it it's really it was a good time investment because you spend a lot of time uh, playing these games you spend a lot of time putting them on your your hard drives and uh, I think it ended up being a pretty good investment for me but this is the only thing that uh, my systems can do so we're gonna move up and this is my retro section of my uh, my multi-man and uh, everything here is in alphabetical order and as you guys can see these are real box arts of Nintendo Super Nintendo games I got a whole other section for Sega Genesis but Pretty much every Nintendo and Super Nintendo game ever is on here. And uh, they all work just like they did years ago. Alright, so we're back to Arrow the Acrobat. <laughs> and like I said, like every single game, you guys watch the letters at the bottom. I'm just going to zoom through them real quick. If you hold it down, it'll go all the way to Z like in a millisecond. <laughs> but there's uh, thousands of games in here. It's insane. And I think it's a... Uh, Personally, I love it. I think it's pretty awesome. A lot of these older games, people were... I know you guys remember this stuff. I know you guys remember these games. And uh, how fun they were. And it's... Having a mod of PS3, it, I'm able to relive that fun and that magic anytime I want. And uh, I really love it. And I know a lot of people out there are going to say, oh, you shouldn't have that. Whatever. You know, to each his own. I'm not going to judge you. Don't judge me. Uh, well, if you do judge me, fuck you. I don't really care. <laughs> uh, but... This is really awesome, and another good thing about this is uh, something called uh, Showtime Media Player. The Showtime Media Center. What this does is, if you have any movies uh, or anything on hard drives that you've downloaded from nefarious places, I don't know any places like that, but if you do have tons and tons of movies or ter terabytes of films, uh, you can actually watch them all on here. And uh, PlayStation actually has something called Synavia protection installed on it because Sony created Synavia and uh, what that does is if a person's watching maybe a pirated film it picks up the 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 audio algorithm and it'll stop that video from being played on a PlayStation 3 Showtime media player actually uh, does not do that and so if you have an issue watching a movie you download it from a torrent site or something and, and PlayStation stops you from being able to watch it if you open Showtime media center and watch it in there it'll never happen and on top of that Showtime Media Center actually plays every type of uh, video format MKVs everything it can play blu-ray files up to four gigs so if you have a blu-ray movie that's been compressed and it's like really good resolution you can watch it on Showtime Media Center and it'll, it'll look like a blu-ray so this thing is actually pretty awesome um, another thing is in Showtime if you have like a ton of movies you can have all the uh, pictures downloaded directly to uh, to Showtime, like all the thumbnails for the for the films, and it'll actually go to IMDb.com and download the uh, synopsis and scenarios in the movies too. So it, it turns like Showtime into its own like little Netflix box. Of course, you got all your music and your photos. It's a totally different music and photo viewer. It's something completely made by Multiman, as you guys can see. Uh, you can open up a file manager, and what this does is, I'm actually inside my PlayStation 3 right now. Um, Go to the PlayStation 3 roots. This is the PS3 root. Uh, you can go to your hard drive. You go to your games. Or maybe I'm in the wrong spot. Um, okay, here we go. And these are all the games that are installed out there, like Doom and FBA and all that stuff that you saw on the desktop. It takes a while for you to get used to 
you know, seeing things, you can transfer data here, you can copy and paste, all that stuff works here. So it turns your PS3 pretty much into a computer. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about modded systems. Have you ever had one? And if you have had one, what was your favorite one? And what did you have modded on it? As always, thanks for all the love and support, guys. The thumbs up mean the world to me. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.